The starting point was a novel called Trespass by Rose Tremaine, um, and then it kind of grew away from the novel, and uh, so it kind of becomes more inspired by. Um, yeah, but yeah, the animals were, were tricky. And my, my previous film was Children and Animals. It was um, child leads and, 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 and horses. Horses are kind of bliss to work with. Sheep, really difficult. Owls, pretty difficult. Rabbits, Rats. really difficult. Yeah, they're, they're, I wrote too many animals. In yeah, well, not, can you cut some out, yeah. please? <laughs> Clio came to me with something else first. It was a Doris Lessing adaptation um, of the Golden Notebook. And we discussed that. And she, in that discussion, we, she also brought up, there's something else I want to talk to you about. <laughs> and it was this script that was on its way into production, but hadn't been cast yet. And was, you know, so she was saying, would you read it and see what you think of it? And I read it. And look, I've always wanted to work with Clio. I love her work and on the page it already felt poetic and incredibly moving and very challenging in many ways. Um, but I knew that in her hands it would be something quite special. So it was a no-brainer, really. You know, I really wanted to work with her because I think she's extraordinary um, in her courage in the, and, and commitment and ability to be vulnerable. And then we needed to find her brother and we, um, and find, you know, Mark was extraordinary. So he came into the casting as Joe, um, and yeah, he was remarkable. So uh, I think Amy and Ruth and I uh, and Tracy, the producer, we just saw that they were going to be incredible, incredible together. together. I met him in the audition room. There's a quite a lengthy auditioning process of finding who was going to be my brother, and so I tried out, tested with a lot of actors. And he did come in and he was Joe instantly. We all knew it. But because he came in as Joe, we were like, well, let's find out who Mark is. So I went, for, went and met him. We had a sort of a more of an informal chat. And um, in that, we realized that we could get on really well. And we are like siblings, actually, now. I mean, we had to go through, it's a very intense experience, and working with sheep and beating each other up and all sorts. So we've become like brother and sister now. I did about a month's work on a farm. I knew I had to try and convince people that I belong to that world. And that was quite hard when I had no training or no experience of farms, really. Um, so I went and stayed with this great couple called Malcolm and Hazel up in Yorkshire. And um, they taught me those the skills of what you need to be on a farm, just dragging them around, shearing them, castrating lambs, clipping feet, dipping them. I had to do all of it. Um, and it was very hard, it was, you know, they're real live beings. It's really, you know, you sort of forget that you're dealing with something that's alive. And so you're just trying not to cut the thing. But it was, um, you had to be authentic, we had to be. So it demanded that sort of commitment. 